good morning guys from Madeira Island. It's just before sunrise and I'm about to set off with Ativa on the Uncomeda to Foladal Trail. We're gonna find a waterfall at the end of this one. It's just about to be sunrise so we're hoping for some beautiful colors here in the valley. But uh, yeah, let's get started on this long, long hike. So we're one kilometer into the hike and we're about to head through this tunnel here. You can feel the cold air coming straight out of the tunnel so it's going to be freezing. But yeah, completely dark in there so got to get the lights out and see where this tunnel takes us. Okay, three kilometers in and we found the Hobbit tunnel number two. This one looks a lot darker, mossier and a bit more interesting. So I'm not sure what we're gonna find in there, but uh, first it's time to start the adventure bag. I've uh, noticed a plastic bottle here. One adventure, one bag. We start collecting our bag of trash early in today's trail. Well, as you can see behind me, there's a massive waterfall. Jokes, it's a bit dry in the summer but uh, this is the first uh, little waterfall of the hike. It's looking pretty good out there. Uh, there's a few clouds starting to roll in, which is always exciting on Madeira. I'm gonna check out what these mountains look like from the air. We were expecting about uh, 1400 meters of incline on this hike, just a casual vertical K. But uh, after five and a half kilometers, all we'd had was flat, but we're now well and truly going up the stairs. As you can hear from me out of breath, which is classic for stairs.
Jackson, what's that sound? Uh, this is my favorite song. I always hear this sound while you're flying the drone. So the drone is auto landing right now. It's how many meters away, Jackson? Uh, 600 meters. 600 meters away. How many percent you have? Uh, seven. Seven percent. All right, guys. So quickly. Here we are, we're on the biggest climb section of the hike. Atiba's going strong. Uh, we just saw the first other people on the trail after almost 12 kilometers, so pretty bare. The trail's getting pretty rugged, uh, rocky, lots to navigate, but uh, really beautiful. We're starting to climb up towards the pinnacle and then we'll take lunch at the main waterfall. But for now, we climb. It's so clean and fresh here, you can even drink it. Oh, there goes my head. <laughs> so refreshing. The trail has actually joined the Bikatakana Trail now, which is uh, the trail I hiked the other day. And I actually climbed the pinnacle behind me. I'm gonna put the card up here, so if you wanna click to that YouTube video, you can check it out. But uh, here's what that hike looked like.
So we're at the 16 kilometer mark, this trail actually spits you out onto the road and you have to walk with no footpath on the road for the last two kilometers back to the starting point in Incometa. Uh, the trail actually took us above the waterfall, but we never got to visit the base. But this is what it looked like. Put that straight in the adventure bag. Yep, I will. Okay, we finished our adventure bag. We got some Coke cans, cigarettes, and a few plastic bottles. So remember, the motto is one adventure, one bag. Whenever you go on a hike to the beach or to a waterfall, take a plastic bag or a reusable bag, fill it up with trash, and do your bit. So we're back in Incometa now. It took us uh, five hours of moving time. It was a 19 kilometer loop hike. Uh, we didn't actually get to the base of the waterfall. Uh, it didn't seem to be on this track, but we did see it from above. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, because I'm doing much more vlogs here on Madeira and around the world. And I appreciate you joining along for the ride. According to Atiba, it's now time for a beer. So catch you in the next one.